hello and you welcome once again in this video i am going to show you how to first of all download and install wps to your android device two you are going to learn how to create a doc file or a document file and share via whatsapp i'm going to give you the step-by-step -step way of doing this so that anytime you want to type a document using your mobile phone and send through emails or whatsapp you will find it easy so quickly let's go to our phone and visit play store and download the application So now you can scroll through the apps look for the play store app which is this one you click on it to open now up here where the search bar is you type in wpx click on the search and then you will see a lot of icons popping up here take your time and select this particular WPS icon here. Click on install. In my case, I have the application already on my phone. So I have the option to open. But in your case, you click to install. Now, when you finish installing, go home to the phone. Now, go through the apps and you will find WPS installed. Okay, now click to open WPS on your mobile phone. Now, this is how the interface looks like. So first of all, if you want to create any document, you just click on create. When you click on create, you have the option to create a document powerpoint excel pdf and many more you can even do scanning with your wps app now click on documents or doc you have the option to select templates that is available or to create a new document from scratch so to create a new document from scratch, you click on blank. Okay, so I'll click on blank. All right, now I have the option to type whatever document I want to change, to type in anything that you want. Okay, so now you can type your document, anything that you want. Then when you finish, you click on save point at this point i am not saving it to cloud i am saving it to my local phone so i'll just click on phone okay now you have a lot of folders on your phone where you can decide to save this particular file okay so you have a lot of folders so i can decide to put it in my documents you get it in my document or i'll go back go back and put it inside downloads okay so here i'll give my file a name so let me say how to save a file from wpx here you have a lot of options also available you can decide to save the file in a document extension or document itself, test, XML, and PDF. So we go with the doc extension and then we click on save. But remember, if you want to end, so when you click on save, you have the option to save it to cloud, to save it to phone, and to save it to memory. So I will select phone and then choose downloads. Now, when I come here, I will give my file a name so I can say saving 
document from WPX. Then at this place, you choose a document extension. Click on it and save. Okay, you are good to go. You have downloaded the application software. Type any document, save it, and now you are about to send. So open your WhatsApp. Open your WhatsApp. Locate the contact you want to send the document to. Click on documents and then go to browse. And then when you go to browse, look for the folder that you save the file to okay so as you can see it's here saving doc from wps so i'll just select this one and click on forward so this is the file saving doc from wps so now it's gone anyone who is having this number can open so for instance i sent it to this whatsapp account so i'll quickly open and this is it download and when you download you open and so as you can see i sent the file from my phone and it's now opening on my laptop so i can do the editing anytime anywhere from my phone or from my laptop as you can see it has show up here thank you very much for watching this short video